Yes. Have it been uh, looted? Everything else has been looted. We have uh, grannies who are on chronic medication. They can't even get bread because the plazas are shut down, the businesses are shut down, the malls are shut down because of looting. So we said no to hell with that. We can't be we can't be at the center of just observing when the township dilapidates. We have to come up and see how we can gather resources, combine resources, join hands, Rotswara, and then ensure that we sort this mess out. So I, I just lost me from me. You're at one of the entrances, but Maponya Mall is a big mall. Do you have other people stationed at different parts of the mall? But uh, uh, linked to that, those people who are stationed there, are they capacitated enough to deal with any eventuality that could take place overnight? Yeah. One thing that, that um, especially the looters, they're very smart, they're well informed, they watch the news, they must understand that tonight they're not only dealing with law enforcement, they're dealing with their match, right? They're dealing with their match because when they come here with pangas, we'll, our pangas will come out. When they come here with, with guns, our guns will come out. We're not taking chances. So to answer your question, we can't tell, we can't expose yeah. our plan fully. But what you should know is that we have enough firepower to last us until sunrise. So if someone wants to come and test us through the night, more than happy. Some of us are willing to die, and it's not for the camera. It's real life stories. We're here, and we don't send anyone. It's not a hashtag thing. It's not a Facebook thing. We're here real life. We're ready to die. When I left my house, I told my mom, I told my, my family that this may be the last time I come back, and I'm happy with it. So they must come and try and see that Soweto does have real men um, that are really willing to protect the community, the women and children. Full stop. Well, Kathy, that's it.